last one here. Uh, oh, yeah, this one's good. Right, so what did you write as an answer for this one? Um, probably C. Yeah, I, I think I put a, so you crossed out A and said that's not the right answer. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Now, can you actually see that when you're finding the integral, okay, now I want to make a distinction here because you could get, people do get confused, right? Yeah. Okay, the integral here from 0 to A is exactly the same as from 0 to minus A. The integral is exactly the same. The area here is the same yeah. as the area there, right? Um, yeah. What sort of what sort of function for what sort of function does that happen? Uh, starts with O. Sorry. It starts with O. Well, so for what sort of function does the integral, this integral, equal to that integral? Starts with O. Uh, you know. I think so. Okay, give me a hint. Look at the power. I'm not sure. I'll tell you. For an odd function. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So when you've got an odd function, yep, the integral on either side of the zero is going to be equal but, equal but, opposite. Opposite. Yep. Okay. Got it? Equal but opposite. Yep. Now, when you combine, when you combine the two integrals, Right, on either side of zero. Right, what what do you think happens? You got a you got a positive integral plus a negative integral, right? Yeah. What would the? Just times by two. Sorry. Just times by two. Uh, no, 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 no. Let me. Yeah, don't don't get confused just yet. So you okay. got a positive integral here, and you got a negative integral there. When you combine the two, what what's going to happen to them? Um, they cancel each other out. Yes, they're going to cancel each other out, and they're going to become zero. Zero. So basically, what you have is positive plus its opposite. Okay, positive number plus its negative, uh, a positive quantity plus its negative equivalent. Does that make sense? And its negative opposite. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now. That would be the case if you're working out the integral, right? Integral, right, from negative A to A would equal to zero. Got it? Yep. Now, when we're working out the area between negative A and A, right, that's different because area can't be... Zero. No, it can be zero, but air. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, but area can't be negative. Negative. Yeah, you can't have a negative area, right? Because it's kind of like uh, having a negative distance or a negative length or something like that. Yep. Yeah. So the area between negative a and a is going to be. Um. That area. Plus that area, which is what you said before, it's going to be double. Yeah. Double the area from 0 to A, right? So it's two times the area from 0 to A, or x cubed dx. Got it? As an integral, the negative... The, the, the bit below will cancel out with the bit above. So if we're working out the integral, right, you can have a negative integral, but you yeah. can't have a negative area. Got it? So just be careful with the questions and how they word it. Look and see, are they asking for the integral or are they asking for the area? Okay, a little trick. Okay. Okay. Cool.